there is a module named system information with this you can get some information about your pc and uh, you can also get some information about uh, websites you can uh, go to their website and uh, check some of their uh, some instructions on how to use this module but uh, yeah you can check go to their website and go check the system information page and um, to install this module you can uh, go to common promote and use this npm install system information after that you can use this uh, require system information uh, to you know import the module into your uh, into your javascript file into your uh, node.js file or whatever you say and I, you can see that i have uh, after importing it i have assigned it to a variable and you can see some things here like async function uh, order yeah, you can ignore this for now you can ignore the await you can ignore some of the try stuff i guess uh, what you can look at first here you can see that uh, system info dot cpu i have used cpu and uh, used a function as a parameter so this in this cpu function there are some things you can do here you can see that there is a cpu info dot physical scores and uh, there's cpu info dot processor uh, <coughs> so there are different things you can use with this uh, get some different information with the with the cpu function and uh, there's this os info with this function you can get some uh, information related to the os and uh, you can see the main function with this you can get some information to that what you can see here is the there's uh, the battery so there are these different functions and with them there is this different property you can access uh, get different types of information and uh, there's and these are related to your pc i guess so can uh, also get some stuff about the website about some website uh, you can uh, uh, see that there's this inet, uh, inet check site system info dot inet check site with this function uh, you can uh, at the first parameter you can give a url and uh, at the second parameter you can give a function uh, you can see that there's this parameter and uh, with that uh, there is this um inet check it's you know there's the with that parameter there's this dot ms i have uh, i can access the dot ms uh ms property and there's this status property you can access so yeah there's this functions that uh, in the module works and gives you can give you different types of information why did i use the async function order and await async await why did i use these things well i i mean if i don't use that and there's this possibility of things executing in ways that i don't want them to execute in a way uh, I wanted to, them to execute one after other. I wanted them to execute. Uh, the first one to execute is the CPU, and then the next is OS info, and then there is this mem, um, uh, memory memory related function, and there is this battery, and then so you can see that I have wanted them to execute one by one, uh, one after another, without conflicting, right? Like if i if this one happens if, if the second one happens before the first one or something like that that can be a bit annoying at times right so uh, with this async await you can uh, you can kind of settle this i suppose you can uh, the with this uh, you can see that i can use this await async async await and uh, so the cpu 
execute first and then the OS info and then there's things with which before each function I have used I use the await and so yeah this is to, so to uh, execute the uh, execute these functions in order I use the async await yeah. if you are familiar with this async await yeah, that should be easy to understand for you I suppose and uh, so then you can see that I have or I have given this order function executed this there is some information that will come after it this CPU info, OS info, battery it says false because I don't have a battery in my laptop and uh, you can see that this at the end so th Wait, uh, first you can see some information related to the uh, CPU brand, yeah, the CPU manufacturer, not the brand, manufacturer, and uh, there's this platform release build, there's this amount of memory, etc. You can see different information, and there's this uh, with this MS property. I have used here where is it MS property I can ex see that the URL I have given here takes around 521 millisecond it takes 521 millisecond to load and uh, there's this status that says 200 which means good so you can get different information with the system information module and uh, if you find some uses to it, it can uh, in, uh, I mean there could be some good uses to this kind of module